Hi, my name is Miko with BMW of San Francisco and today we're going to do a quick video of the new iDrive professional system with navigation. The system is available in a few models. This, uh, this is the new 2013 5 series, 535. It's also available in the active hybrid and 7 series. Other cars still come with an older system. So with the new system basically you get better graphics, enhanced uh, options for cell phone, better navigation, and a few other things. Let's take a look. Uh, just as the old iDrive, it is controlled with the same iDrive controller. So the knob, you turn up and down, push in to choose something. You can go left to the previous menu if it's available, go uh, move it to the right to a specific menu or the option. You have shortcuts for the full menu, media, radio, navigation, and telephone. And that's about it. So let's go through the whole thing. We're going to start from the top with multimedia. Multimedia is everything, uh, any music that's not the radio. Uh, right now, default uh, screen is the CD. Uh, CD, DVD means that once you put a CD in, uh, um, DVD means you can also play DVDs on, uh, on the screen as long as the car is not moving, as long as it's in park. Anytime you put a CD, it's a one CD player, it will ask you if you'd like to store it in the vehicle. If you say yes, once it's stored, it will be in your music collection. This is a brand new car, so there's nothing there. External devices is anything else other than CD that you plug into the car. So you have uh, um, auxiliary or um, USB. Uh, this car has BMW apps and Bluetooth audio. Uh, another thing that you can do even, uh, let's take a look over here in the armrest. So, a uh, connection for USB and uh, uh, auxiliaries in here. Also, this car has uh, BMW apps. Uh, we actually played with this, and BMW apps, pretty much all the options work even without the adapter. Uh, right now, there are adapters available for BlackBerry, uh, iPhone 3 and iPhone 4, not for iPhone 5. But again, if you just plug in USB, white cable, you'll be able to access pretty much every all the applications, such as Facebook, Twitter, news, web radio, and a couple of others. So that's what the, uh, where anything that you plug into the phone will be, external connection, external devices, and then you have option to adjust the tone. This is the same that you do for radio, um, CD, or any other music, it's the same tone adjustment. Next one is your radio. There was single like you. Check out their calendar online. So right now we're on FM, FM is default, and we can pull the list. This is the list of all the stations. Uh, the radio comes with HD, and unlike the other one, it pulls HD stations right away. You don't need to get into additional menu. So right now, let's say this is one of 4.5 HD1. We can go on the same frequency, HD2, and we get different music, no commercials. So we have uh, some channels have, some of them actually have three extra channels. Uh, if there's a station that you cannot find on the list, you can always go to manual and manually find the station you like and it starts playing and then if you push in to, choose, to save it you can save it in your presets so you won't have to do it again. On presets you can save FM, AM, satellite on the same list. We'll go into the previous menu just move into the uh, move into the left. Uh, satellite radio it's not active on this car yet but this is what it looks like. Uh, some options on satellite, first of all, most of these cars, all of new cars come with one year free subscription. You just need to make a call to satellite radio with your information. And then you get all about 200 channels. A uh, couple of uh, uh, interesting options, you can uh, um, do a time shift. So if there's a show that started playing and you missed the beginning, you can do a time shift and rewind it, kind of like a DVR on TV. And favorites, you can store stations, you can store artists, and you can store uh, songs as well. So you'll get an alert when a specific song or artist is playing. So that's your satellite radio. Let's go to the next one, it is your telephone. So right now I'm going to quickly connect my phone so you can see how easy it is to connect. I have an Android phone, not an iPhone. So once I open this, it gives me uh, the code. And now I just go to the Bluetooth menu on my phone, search for devices, and it already found the phone, and I'm just going to pair it, and I'm going to confirm the code. So I don't need to punch in the code, it's just randomly generated uh, number, I just confirm, confirm it on both sides, 
it's checking the pass key and it is connected and on the Androids it'll ask you usually it asks if you allow to access the phone book there we go we we'll allow everything on the phone so right here on my phone on Android it asks if you'd like to uh, access to my contacts and call history don't ask me again yes some phones Samsung's will also pull your text messages uh, Samsung we played with the Note and the uh, Galaxy 2 and 3 so with those phones it'll also alert you and uh, uh, call you uh, I'm sorry we'll read your messages for you all right so my phone is connected right now Evo we're going to the left to the main uh, uh, main menu and let's just go back on the radio telephone there we go okay so there's my phone book I can scroll and just dial from here or I can do AZ search it's predictive search so I'm gonna just start typing and eliminates unavailable options and just very easy to narrow it down pretty fast also I have redial basically dial numbers receive calls and dial number I can actually dial manually from here that's your phone next one is the actual navigation so anytime you open navigation the main display is the map and options are on the left side so we need to move the controller to the left unlike the older system it starts from more uh, logical starts from entering destination so that's our main option when you, we put the address in uh, put address in you can enter it you can pull it from phone book or address book pull from last destinations points of interest is basically any type of business that will be in the system an interactive map will allow me to move cursor on the map and just point in the place a couple of tricks here so to put a city uh, it's always if you know the zip code it's always easier to put the zip code in so let's say we're gonna put zip code from here it's knows that when, when California is already pulled nine so we're gonna put local zip code 94103 okay now we put the street and since we already put the zip code it's going to eliminate and make it easier to put uh, uh, the street name in just makes it faster less options and it's already on the list so we can just move to the list and choose Howard Street now here uh, I can put the house number or if I don't know the house number someone told me oh I'm on Howard and 12th Street I'm gonna go to intersection and we're gonna look for for the other street so we go to additional characters let's say we want to do 12th street again it eliminates all available unavailable options 12th street okay and that's it then we can find businesses around there or we can accept it as destination start guidance and it's going to start working second option on this menu is voice commands so right now the uh, i'm sorry voice prompts right now they're disabled i personally don't like when it talks to me when I drive and um, right now we can look really quick on um, right now we're on zoom in zoom out so we're gonna zoom in this is the perspective view or 3d view let's see what it shows right here so this is the full display you have the 3d it pulls it from Google Earth so you have pretty much I can see exactly where I am I can see buildings and it's a pretty cool display uh, let's see what other options we have here so we can change the map view we can change it to direction of travel or north up so if it's direction of travel just moves the map and it's as if you're just looking at the map like Google map uh, other things let's say let's go back to perspective view and now we can add traffic or change it just for traffic so this is gray map with traffic you see the green that means traffic is flowing freely and uh, additional info uh, there are the 3D buildings, 3D view, uh, some areas will show satellite images, weather, and points of interest. So we don't want to do that right now. Let's go back. Map mode, night or day, and status info. All right, one more thing. Um, and there's one more view that you can get if you don't have heads-up display. This card does have heads-up display, so it does not have what's called arrow view phone call uh, so this one would not show arrow view here but it shows it on the heads-up display let me take the camera and we're gonna look and see if we can see there we go so I'm gonna zoom in so you see zero is the speed and then you have the arrow 
and 50 feet. That's the um, arrow view for uh, guidance. We're off the street. It knows we're off the street by about 50 feet. Once we get on the street, display is going to uh, pick up the street and tell me what it's going to look uh, on the other stuff. Zoom out. All right, here we go. All right. Other options on navigation, points of interest, route preference, uh, traffic info. Traffic info, if uh, we had navigation working, if there was traffic on the way, it'll be red and it would have given me information for specific uh, uh, traffic problems on the way, such as traffic list. Right now it's just random from closer one to further one out. Any type of road work, accidents, closures, anything that could happen on the road will be there. Uh, interactive map, this one will allow you to move the cursor on the map, and I'm going to get it there right now. And uh, route preference is kind of important um, because this is where you set up default is Eco Pro, most efficient route. You usually want to be at fast route because usually you're in a hurry, you don't want to uh, just save gas, you just want to get there. So usually that's what you should pick. Alright, so that's really quick look at your navigation. Office basically pulls your phone book or address book with addresses, emails, anything you have there. Connected drive is anything related to BMW Assist. BMW Assist is a system that allow you, uh, allows you to get connection even without your cell phone. Get a concierge, roadside assistance, get your messages. If you get, um, if you send an address from Google Maps to your car, it will show up right here in messages. So that's where you go to find that. And BMW apps, again, my phone cannot connect, but if you have an iPhone uh, and you have a cable or cradle over there, this is where you're going to go to get your Facebook, Twitter, web radio, anything related to that. Vehicle info. So you have the full vehicle manual in the car right here. Quick reference, search by pictures or actual manual. Open it, start typing, whatever you need to find. Let's say I want a program garage door opener. And there we go, it's on the list, garage door opener, how to program it, and it gives me how to do it. First page, next page, and so on, go through all the information. Uh, also, uh, you have onboard info and trip computer, consumption. Trip computer will be specific for the trip, unless you do it to reset automatically any time you stop. Vehicle status is where you get for tire pressure information. You can check oil, and if there are any warnings on the car, there's some uh, yellow or red lights, you get here and you can find specifically what is wrong with the car. And last one is settings. So settings when you can customize the car, adjust all the whatever is important to you. So this one has heads-up display. You can adjust it and see what shows on heads-up display. Uh, other important things are connections that's where you can play with Bluetooth you want to disconnect or reconnect the phone speed this is your speed warning if you're worried that you're gonna get a lot of tickets you can set up a speed warning at let's say if it's 65 then you might want to set it 70 and then it will warn you the warning will pop up on the heads-up display and a chime every time you go over that speed so uncheck that for now Climate, really cool option. You can set the timer to start ventilating the vehicle without you being in the car. You get off work at five, cars in the um, hot parking lot, uh, yeah, parking lot, so you can set it at 4:45 to start ventilating the car. Lighting, uh, different adjustments for the car. This one is important. This one is the triple turn signal, uh, the turning signal clicker. This one allows you if you just tap the turning signal, it'll click three times and stop. And if you push it like a normal clicker, if you push it further beyond point of resistance, it'll keep clicking until you disable or complete the turn. Eco Promote, you can customize it here. Doors and key decide what what happens when you unlock, lock the car, what every key does, what happens when you start driving, if whether it flashes and beeps when you unlock and unlock. Profiles relate to keys. So basically every car comes with two keys, each key has its own profile. So you can name them and you can do a couple more guest profiles or additional profiles. Profiles are important because every profile saves all the presets that you've done, uh, all the settings for the seat, 
for climate control, everything the way you left it. When you recall it with your key, that's what you get. Uh, one more thing about that. So other settings other than presets, it's very important with these buttons. So the buttons that are uh, memory buttons below the CD player, you can store, on normal car you can store radio stations. On this car you can store pretty much anything, such as you can store an address. So let's say we we'll go on navigation, and we we'll go to guidance, and for now we're going to stop guidance, and then we're going to find a guidance from last destination address. So it's right there. So let's say I select it without pushing it, and then I push one of the memory buttons, I push and hold, and then it's saved. Now look at this screen up here. When I hover my finger over that button, up there it shows what's saved there. So now if I push this button, I push button 1, it's going to start navigation to that address. Another thing that you can do, let's say I want to save this number, let's say I call this number all the time. So again, when, while this number is selected by the controller, I push one of the buttons, push and hold, and it saves that number. Now when I push that button, no matter where I am on the display, it will call that number. And you can customize it any way you want. You can store a couple of radio stations. On my car, I have a shortcut to my presets, I have a shortcut to Bluetooth player, pretty much anything you want. So um, it is important with profiles because this will stay with your profile. When you open the car with a different key, it's not going to be saved. But uh, there are ways you can play with that because you can um, create a fake, like a phantom profile that will allow you to save more presets here. Last thing with the system is options to do a split screen. So when you go to option, option is specific for where you are except for one on top split screen. So when we activate split screen you see it's divided in two, main one and this one is static it's whatever you chose there to be. So right now it's the onboard info that's default and we can change the split screen content. Again on my car I like to see entertainment details and um, you can get other th things. You can get um, let's see you just people, some people like the map, position, trip computer and pretty much again you can customize it and see whatever you like. Online widgets and fish and dynamics will show you what's going on with the car. So that's about it. So that's it. This was a quick look at the new uh, iDrive Professional. Uh, with any questions please feel free to visit my website at askabmwclientadvisor.com. Thank you for watching.